Hey guys, this is Dr. Missy with the Compass and Ezekiel's Wheel. I'm just back this week trying to tell you what's going on with witchcraft and how it's hitting you. And they've switched uh, tactics on us uh, as far as what they're utilizing. So if you notice, we're deep into C2 right now. And which means we're heading straight into the ninth of all. We're heading straight towards the eye of the needle. Um, so that means 24 more days until the ninth of all or the end of C2. What that means for you is that means that God's enlargement process in your heart will be complete. If you've been obedient, for those of you who've been obedient and getting free beforehand. If you haven't been, then you get to go around the mountain again for another year, which is not a good thing. That's not a good thing. That means you get stuck on this level. And you don't want that to happen, which is why you always need to be obedient when he's telling you to get free. And we always need to be diligent in asking him, Lord, is there something in me that's that's not that's going to hinder me and stay on this level? So to me, honestly, you know, I think we are so busy right now. There are so many of us trying to stay abreast of what's going on. There's so much warfare going on. We don't have time for that. We need to be doing what God is telling us to do when he's telling us to do it and being obedient and staying in position and continuing to climb. So what's witchcraft hitting us with this week? It's hitting our ability to attain new revelation. They're trying to hinder you from getting any new revelation. If you felt like your revelation was stifled, that's witchcraft. That's what they're trying to stop you in this week to hinder you from climbing because revelation is what gives you the ability to climb. And, and I think that's almost maniacal if you ask me because, I mean, I don't know what these people think they can stop God. That's just unbelievable. So let's move on. So they're hitting prayer teams. Those of you who are leaders of prayer teams, they're hitting your team's weak points. So you need to be covering those points with the blood of Jesus, which might also include if you have people who need deep inner healing, you need to pull them for a season and cover them in love. Love covers a multitude and then let the strong ones pull the weaker ones up. So until these people get healed, because if you don't, they're going to serve as doorways to warfare against your entire team and hold the whole team back. So you want to keep climbing. God says he's no respect to a person's what he does for one, he does for all. And so for the diligent ones, we cover the weaker ones and we continue to climb. God's no respect to a person's what he does for one, he does for all. He said it. He means it. Okay. Okay. Um, the enemy is using people to lie about you. That's another tactic that he's using in this hour. It's a distraction. Blow it off. It's not even worth your time and worrying about. If they did it to Paul and Jesus, they'll do it to you. And we're seeing it actually coming from people who are professed Christians in the church. People, I would expect it from people who don't believe God. But when it comes from people who profess to know God, that's a whole different ballgame. Because that really shows me that they're not really God's. Because God says the spirit will bear witness with the spirit. And so it means one of two things. It either means that someone's stuck in an old wineskin and an old level, which we just talked about. If they haven't come through C2 and they haven't gotten free. So they're stuck in yesterday's wine. They're stuck in yesterday's tradition or doctrines of demons, so to speak. They're stuck in an old move, if you will, if it was of God. Um, and it's obsolete for the times and the day that we're now walking through. So... You know, you can't use yesterday's tools for today's battle. You can't do it. You've got to continue moving with the cloud by day and the cloud of fire by night. Because God's always moving. He's always transforming. Which is why you're always supposed to be transforming and being transformed. Okay? So you can continue in your growth process with him. Lastly, witches and Satanists are trying to get into your dreams now. Hmm. Imagine that. Why would that surprise us? So they're trying to plant demonic seeds in your dreams to get you off track. So don't believe everything you dream about. You need to test the spirit. First John 4, 3. And for those of you who don't know how to do that, um, and you might even be saying, well, Dr. Missy, how do I protect my dreams then? Psalms 91. Praying Psalms 91, asking God to plead the blood over your dreams. They can't enter in through the blood. And asking God to curse the roots and fruits of any demonic seeds that have gotten planted into your dreams. So that you're not let off track. Or let us stray. So anyway, that's the compass for this week. I uh, hope to see you on the 15 minute rev on Friday. Know that I love you and that I bless you and I'll catch up with you then. Love you guys. Bye-bye.